Hey, welcome back guys, and this is the top 10 Android apps of February 2016. Okay, so the first app up is Phonograph. So Phonograph is a minimalistic, beautiful looking material design music player for your phone. I personally think it's one of the nicest looking ones out there and it includes some really good features. So the first thing that's special about it is the fact that you can change your songs, your title, author, tags, album name, etc, things like that. So this allows you to make sure all your music's in the same place, all in the one place together, and so it's not scattered around your phone, making it all really cluttered and just a mess to try and find songs. It features a built-in FM radio integration, so it allows you to listen to your local radio or foreign radio station, and also you can customize it with dynamic colors and different shades. So this is really nice, you can change your prime color, your secondary colors and you can really tweak out the whole interface to your liking. So finally the app includes an awesome widget for your home screen and I think it really just looks great in general and it's definitely a nice music player for you guys that are out there. So the next app up is Doze Relaxing Music. Yeah that sure is the name and it's a, it's a little bit of a strange name. This app features unlimited music streaming of relaxing songs in order to help you guys relax when stressed out about something, or to help you get to sleep at night, or even to help you study, which I personally do use it for, as it's really good for blocking out background noises, and it can really get you to focus on the work. So overall, you get a timer, you can set favorites to improve recommendations, and the UI is very nice and simple, so I definitely recommend it. Sensor Sense is up next, and it's a bit of a weird name, and it's also for a little bit of uh, geeks out there, and it's just for people who are really plain curious. So this app allows you to view all the activity of the sensors going on inside of your phone. You can view your temperature, your light, pressure, humidity, and many more, and it's just fun to look at, and you can kind of mess around with your phone and see really what's going on inside of it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty beast app, and I just think it's kind of cool to look at, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. Now, Puzzle Alarm is a pretty good one, it's up next, and it's a very nice material design alarm clock, which gives you a task to complete in order to shut it off. So this is really nice. Um, so you will either have to answer a maths problem or sort out a puzzle of some sort. You can really customize it, uh, what you want it to come up with, and you can set the difficulty. So it's great as it makes your brain a little bit awake when you wake up. You know, uh, you normally just hit the alarm and you just fall back asleep again. Anyway, that is what I do. And this app really prevents that because it makes you really think and by thinking it just really wakes you up in the morning. So it's definitely a really great one for you guys who can't wake up. You can customize it whether you want it to slowly wake you up or whether you want an explosion which will probably blow your mind. But anyway guys, you can set that if you want. Now the next one is Hexlock and it's at number 5 and this one allows you to lock your apps with passcodes, patterns or even a fingerprint scanner if you have one in your phone. Uh, so this allows you to stop people from viewing your private things in your phone that you don't want maybe your girlfriend, your friends, or, or your family, or just people in general to see. So it can stop friends from messaging your contacts with stupid stuff like your mom, or it can stop them from posting on your Facebook or your Twitter and just making you look really stupid and dumb. So um, basically any sort of thing like uh, Facebook or Instagram or any app that you have on your phone you can lock. Uh, you can even lock the actual app itself and your settings app, anything, even the stock apps, which is really good. And uh, overall, it's definitely a very, very good app, and I definitely recommend it. So this is the Google Rewards, and it's a survey app which will, from time to time, ask you what your favorite movie is to watch or how you get to work. And by answering these to Google, you will get credit for your Google Play Store. So you can spend it on music, videos, apps, or really whatever you want. So it's really great for you guys who don't want to spend money on apps out there. Uh, this is a really great way of getting gift card money uh, from Google, and you can spend it on whatever you like. So it's definitely a nice one. Clear Focus is next, and it helps productivity. So this app is a time management app which cuts out distractions and sets a time period for you to be productive and gives you short breaks in order to help you focus much more. So you can set times whatever you want. Um, it's great if you want to do homework, you want to read a book, or you want to simply think of ideas for your life. So maybe you, you just want to think about the future um, or what, whatever it might be, this can help you focus and it can make you lock down and stop getting distracted from stupid things. It really does help concentration as well as motivation and it sets you off on a journey with no distractions. So it's definitely a really nice app to keep you focused on whatever you have to be focused on. 
Notepad is up next and it's a nice little neat note taking app. It features a minimalistic material design user interface which allows you to make quick notes as well as setting reminders using dates and times on the inbuilt calendar. It's good for your grocery lists or if you have a list of what you want to do over the weekend or your homework. It's a very simple app and the only really one true feature is to organize your notes. But it's really great and it's helpful so I definitely recommend it. Now this one is not in the Play Store, but it's probably one of the nicest ones and the best ones on the list. Uh, so this is for the PlayStation 4 users out there. This is a remote play app and it allows you to control your PlayStation 4 from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection, which means you can play games as well as talk to your friends, you can access music or media on your console and overall it's a pretty nice app. So you can show off to your friends about it, uh, that you can play COD on your phone and it is kind of cool if you just want to walk around the house while playing games. Now you can connect a controller as well, uh, you will need to be rooted for that, uh, but apart from that it's really great and you can do everything with the on-screen controls. It is a little bit trickier, but you'll get used to it. Okay, so I'll have a link down below if you want to get it, so um, yeah. Now finally, the last one on the list is Apus Browser, I think that's how you say it. Uh, so this is a very nice but underrated browser I feel. It looks stunning, it's very simplistic and overall is packed in with handy features and is super super fast. It features a night mode which turns all the whites on your page to black and also it features a fast mode and even comes with a data saving mode so this will stop photos and videos from loading on web pages which is nice if you have a low data plan and overall I think the look of it, the UI actually makes it one of my favorite browsers to use. It just looks really plain, simple and nice so definitely check that one out, it's a very nice browser. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 10 apps. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 10 apps video of February 2016. Don't forget to smash that like button down below and if you want to see some more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified on my latest videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, peace.